Now I want to uh, play around with PWM on the Arduino um, because I want to drive a buck converter but I want to drive it at a high frequency and the Arduino has a fixed PWM frequency. You can vary the pulse width, the mark to space ratio, but the frequency is fixed. So the first thing I wanted to do is look at the PWM outputs and uh, see what the standard frequency is. So here's um, a little Arduino Nano, it's a clone, not a genuine one. And uh, onto analog A0, which is uh, this pin here, and ground and VCC, I've attached a little potentiometer module. Now you've got to watch these potentiometer modules, because as you can see, um, the uh, wiper is not on the center pin, positive is on the center pin and I didn't realize that initially and I plugged it in uh, as you would a normal pot and smoke started coming out but anyway once I worked out how to do it um, you just uh, let's get rid of the magnifying glass, you just connect the uh, potentiometer up to analog A0 and VCC and ground. Now I've opened a new Arduino sketch but I'm going to go to uh, examples and there's one called analog read serial so I'm going to close the original sketch and I'm just going to work from analog read serial so in fact I'm going to load this into the Arduino now let's uh, make sure that goes in there are the TX and RX lights and that's gone in. Okay, so now what should happen is if I put up the serial monitor, I'm getting a stream of numbers coming out there, and if I turn the potentiometer, those numbers vary between 0 at one end and 1024, 1023 at the other. So it's reading the potentiometer value and converting it to a digital number. So the next thing to do is to uh, send the uh, analog value from the potentiometer out to one of the PWM pins. Now only certain of the digital pins are PWM and on the Nano it's a bit difficult to see. Uh, on, on a normal Arduino you've got a little tilde. On the Nano there's just a dot so D3 is PWM, D5, D6, D9, D10 and D11 are all PWM pins. Um, D13 isn't, which is a shame because there's already an LED on D13, which is the uh, L LED, that one there. Um, but we can't PWM that, so I'm going to have to put an external LED on. So I think what I'll do for the moment is I'll put it on, I don't know, say D9. So I've gone to the Arduino website and the reference section and I'm looking at analog write. And analog write is the way you set a pin to PWM. Um, and the syntax is, in the example below, we need to set a pin as an output in the setup function and we need to do an analog write of uh, whatever pin we choose to a value of our choice. Now because PWM is, uh, runs from 0 to 255 and the uh, analog read runs from 0 to 1023 we have to divide the value by 4. So I've inserted into my sketch the analog write line which is here analog write to pin 9, which is one of the PWM pins, sensor value, which I've got from doing an analog read, which is up here, sensor value is analog read A0, and dividing it by 4 to convert the range 0 to 1023 to 0.255. Now interestingly, I forgot to put up in the setup setting uh, pin 9 as an output, but it doesn't seem to matter. So when you do an analog write, it must do that for you because if we look down here on the board my LED is on and if I turn the potentiometer I can vary the brightness of the LED so 
So now I've put my oscilloscope across the LED and you can see on the screen that we've got um, a PWM uh, signal and a spectrometer and I can vary the pulse rate. It's a bit of a dead band in the middle but I think that's because I've burnt my potentiometer and I can actually get the wrong Anyway, that works. Now the frequency on channel 1 is 490 hertz and if you look at the documentation on Arduino you'll see that they do uh, quote the PWM frequency as 490 hertz but I've been digging a bit further into this and it's not the same on all the digital PWM pins if you go to playground.arduino.cc forward slash code forward slash PWM frequency you've got a piece of uh, code here where you can actually alter the um, frequency of the PWM output. Now it makes reference to a post, this one, arduino.cc yab to uh, so and so so and so. So I've gone to that and it's called varying the PWM frequency for timer 0 or timer 2. And there's a chap here, uh, what's his name, Mace GR who has put down all the frequencies that you can uh, set up on the various digital pins by putting in different divisor figures. And the frequencies are different for pins 5 and 6, pins 9 and 10, pins 11 and 3. So at the moment I'm looking at pin 9 here and that appears to use timer 1 but pins 5 and 6 use timer 0 and pins 11 and 3 use timer 2. So I've put a second LED onto the breadboard on digital pin D5 which is also a PWM pin. So I'm now looking at D9 and D5 and in the code I've put a second analog write line putting the same uh, pulse width data but I've got it now on pins 9 and 5 and if I look at the scope um, I can't trigger off the second one because it's not a direct uh, multiple of the first one but if you look at the two frequencies on channel 1 I've got 490 hertz and on channel 2 I've got 976 hertz now that sort of ties up with this pin 9 uh, with a divisor of 64 488 hertz well I've got 490 and then up here, pin 5, with a divisor of 64, 976 hertz. Well, I've got 976 hertz, so that makes sense. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you've got this chat, Mekon83, saying, Mace GR, I'm afraid that the frequencies in your post for pins 3, 9, 10, 11 are a little off. The correct formula is F equals clock divided by 510N. And then he says that gives a frequency of 490 hertz. So that's where the, mis the mystery is. It is actually 490 hertz for pins 3, 9, 10 and 11, not 488 hertz. Now I wanted a frequency of about 15 kilohertz. And unfortunately that doesn't appear anywhere in any of these three tables. There is um, in the top table, so that's timer 0, uh, pins 5 and 6, about 8 kilohertz or 62 and a half kilohertz and in the bottom two tables there's a 31 kilohertz or 4 kilohertz so I'm gonna have to compromise and go for 31 kilohertz so on my pin 9 which is my blue LED that's on D9 I'm gonna try and change the frequency to 31 kilohertz so there's pin 9 so it's timer 1 and I'm just going to copy that line, TCCR1B equals TCCR1B and uh, that binary value or setting. And setting will be uh, for 31 kilohertz, OX01, the top one in that table. So I've pasted that line of code, TCCR1B equals T TCCR1B, uh, the binary number and the OX01, into my setup. Um, function and the compiler seemed happy with that and uh, I've still got the ability to vary the brightness of both LEDs on the potentiometer 
and on the scope we now have on channel 1 I've changed the time base a bit there 31.3 it's reporting um, what's it say on here 31.250 okay my scope's slightly over reading I'm getting 31.37 but anyway it's 31 kilohertz and I've still got 976 hertz on my channel 2 which was the green LED which was on digital pin D5 so that's it I've changed the frequency of the PWM on one of the timers to 31 kilohertz now you have to be aware that this can interrupt um, on timer 1 certain functions if you change timer 0 it affects millis and the delay function timer 1 I'm not entirely sure what the uh, effects will be but just watch out for um, side effects